Today, we're taking back control of your Windows 11 system. No fluff, no basic tips. We are going to surgically remove the parts of the operating system that spy on you, waste your resources, and clutter your experience. I'm going to show you two powerful advanced methods. First, we'll use a built-in professional tool to sever Microsoft's telemetry connection. Second, we'll use a single command to obliterate bloatware and widgets. Let's begin. Open the Group Policy Editor. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run box. Type this command on display and press Enter. In the left pane, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then scroll down to Data Collection and Preview Builds. Double click it. Find the policy named Allow Telemetry or Allow Diagnostic Data and double click it. In the new window, select Enabled. Then, in the Options drop down menu below, choose the lowest possible setting. This will be named Diagnostic Data Off or Security. This stops all non essential data collection. Click Apply, then OK to force the change. Open command prompt as an administrator and run the command GP update osh force. Now, to instantly kill bloatware and the annoying widgets panel, we'll use a single command. Launch PowerShell as an admin. Right-click your start button and choose Windows Terminal Admin. Copy and paste this exact command from the video description and press enter. Wait a few seconds. A utility window will pop up. Step 3. Apply the tweaks. In this new window, click the Tweaks tab at the top. Now click the preset button that says Standard. This automatically selects the best options to disable telemetry, ads, and other system bloat. Finally, at the bottom right, click the big Run Tweaks button. The script will now do all the work for you. It will remove the back end for the widgets panel and disable a huge amount of bloat. Let it finish, and then restart your computer. And there you have it. You've used the Group Policy Editor to set a hard rule against data collection. And with one PowerShell command, you've disabled the rest of the junk. If this guide helped you, a like is always appreciated.